Well, the cadet program is, in my view, the best youth development program that we have in Canada. All of the cadets, air, sea, and land. And this is an opportunity for adventure, for education, for discipline, for testing yourself, for putting yourself in a position to become a better citizen. Uh, the cadet program is something you will never regret and uh, something you will always cherish. A great place to meet friends, a place uh, to really become uh, aware of the incredible military history that we have as a country. And so I encourage everyone to look at the cadets as a pursuit, as a, as a part of an organization that will make you a better person. Which mm -hmm. is one of the inner... It's, it's, it's the inside, the fuselage portion okay, so the, of the front right, spire. Okay, that makes sense. So that oh, would make sense to start on that from the get-go. Yes. So you will take that apart out there? It, it, all the uh, fasteners and yeah. everything have been taken out. Yeah. As I said to you that uh, I'm not ready to remove the spar caps. Sure. Because it's not in a flat enough position. Yes. To uh, you, you take it apart. Well, otherwise, if it, you know, it loses its rigidity. That's right. Really it's and it's quite heavy. Yeah, no doubt. So like it, it'll just bend like <laughs> yeah. a pretzel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you'll go through the disassembly process, and you'll gradually, you'll carefully take apart the, the spark cap so that you don't have any sag and bend. And then you'll bring all of the parts down here, and then make your assessments then, or um... no, uh, they will be restored outside. Oh, okay. Because I really don't need any aluminum oxide and you know all the uh, yeah. dirty, nasty stuff yeah. down here. That's true. That makes sense. So you know, I've uh, I've totally um, how should I put it insulated and modified my garage mm -hmm. so that. It's heatable, so I can work out there during the winter okay, as well. So you'll be working in the in the, in garage, the, in the garage itself. itself. Okay, yeah. The first idea was I put up the uh, portable garage yeah. to put the parts in there, mm -hmm. and then work out there. But after a year of working out in the cold, <laughs> working at the aviation museum yeah. in the cold, yes. and then also in the summer yeah. because the heat yeah. it absorbs the heat. Yeah. Oh, you should see how hot course. it is. I've worked in places like that. <laughs> and so I've decided that that is going. Yes. Because I have enough room. Yeah. On, I call it my side of the garage because yeah. Chris has to have her car inside. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. That would be fair. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think we're strange people because most people around here have their cars outside in the garage full of junk. <laughs> yeah. Me, I'm just going to have it's Hastings and Halifax junk. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of airplane parts and junk. <laughs> oh, you too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's uh, it is an interesting process. So you do a lot of the refurbishment out there oh, and yeah. bring it down for yeah. assembly and so Yes. Okay. And the fortunate part also is where we moved the um, other pieces. Yeah. They are at uh, and. I don't care if you print it or not. I'm not going to give you the company name. Okay. They're at a body shop. Okay. And uh, I'll be. They'll be set up. At, there's a huge, huge sprung shelter. Yeah. Where he uh, houses big motorhomes. He's got all kinds of yeah, yeah. room in there. And I'll be set up in there. Mm -hmm. Take everything apart. Mm -hmm. And then bring it over here. Mm -hmm. And as I need the parts just take them back because it's not very far from here. Okay. And um, is it secure? I mean, that's one of oh the yes, things. it's very and secure. Very